Welcome to the Entrepreneurial Biome Podcast, a space for nurturing the ecosystem of business, body, and living. What would it be like if you gave your body a leadership role in your business and chose greater happiness every day? These are the conditions that create a healthy biome and a thriving business. I'm your host, Heather Nichols, and I'm so happy you're here. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Entrepreneurial Biome Podcast. We're going to play this week with relaxation and creation. Um, Some of y'all follow me on YouTube, and I did a video about this um, last week, Um, so you can go there and, and catch some of that. But I wanted to dive a little bit more into the pragmatics of relaxation. Um, you know, there's a very type A world that we live in (laughs) and there's a lot of doing involved in a lot of things or so we think, um, we think that's kind of what needs to happen or whatever. And, um, I know I grew up, you know, really like very like willing to, you know, do and work really hard and try really hard and effort. And I, I believed in the power of my ability to create, um, through, through doing, you know, through it's force actually. Um, I wouldn't have called it that at the time, but now looking back on it, it's like, I've created a lot of things through force and pressure and pushing against things, um, rather than relaxing into those open spaces that are already there. And, um, and it, it requires, um, I would say, like a level of, of neurological unwinding um, that allows, like that facilitates that space of relaxation and the choice for relaxation. Um, that is, um, it's very different. And there's a, there's a level of like tending to that that we need to, that we need to do. Um, just as if we would tend to the, the biome, you know, like to really like add the energy of relaxation in such a way that everything gets to be greater as a result of it. And you've probably noticed if you've ever been, you know, whenever you're around someone who is genuinely relaxed, um, like neurologically relaxed, which is kind of a rare thing, unfortunately, in our world, but someone who has a space of true relaxation and space um, they're quite lovely to be around. It's it's a balm for your soul and your body to be around people who function more from true, genuine relaxation. So how do we um, how do we create that for ourselves? And why why what does that have to do with creation? Well, when you're you know wound up and you're in force mode and go mode and get her done mode, you know you're, you're in kind of a tunnel vision of like, this is what needs to happen. This is what I've decided needs to happen. This is how it needs to happen. This is why it needs to happen. And this is how I can make it happen. And, um, there's a certain level of like, just for, for so many of us, um, we've learned, we've really learned how to do that. And, um, and gotten good at it. If you're successful in any way, you know, you've, 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 anything that you may have succeeded at in your life, you, you may have done it with a level of force and control that is the opposite of relaxing for your nervous system. And the, the irony is, is that when we do relax, we kind of like spread and expand out. We can have a really different bird's eye view of everything, all possibility. And we go, we get out of reactive reality, like a, because so much of how people create and how things get done in, in this world is by reaction and engaging in this like reactive universe where an action, where it's all about action and reaction and then repeat and rinse, you know, and instead of the space where you don't need to react to anything, you don't need to like, you know, maybe you're, you want to create more money because you're reacting to either not having enough money or you're reacting to 
the potential of not having enough money in the future, you know, all these things that we make up, they're all mental masturbatory <laughs> realities. And so when you're living from that, it's like, there's this real sense of, of unease, a lack of relaxation and a, you know, engaging engagement in a reactive controlled controlling reality that is, I think that's to me, if I liken it to like a, a natural biome, you know, the, of the, on the earth and an area of major life where there's a flourishing of, of life on the earth. Um, you know, when you have relaxation, it's, it's the soil is mineralized. It's, it's very nutrient dense. It's, you know, fluffy and moist and there's all kinds of things going on. Whereas when we're functioning from reaction, trying to get out of pain, trying to avoid pain, we're, it's desertified. It's a desertified landscape, cracked, dry, lacking minerality, lacking nutrients, lacking the energies that we really could be adding to the biome to give it the gift of flourishing. So what, so how do we achieve that? How do we work toward, how do we, well, don't work toward it. <laughs> how do we achieve and create greater relaxation in our lives? Well, okay. There's a whole bunch of things and I, I, I'll just give you a few of them because <laughs> there's a lot that we could talk about. Um, one of them is start to play the long game, start to play the long game in your life. Um, and just know that like we're a lot of us kind of have this thing of like, you know, when you're, when you're a seeker and you love to create and you're fast, you want everything to have happened yesterday. Okay, fine. Now relax. <laughs> it's not going to happen yesterday. It's not going to even happen today. Get into the dynamics and the habit of creating a future. And I don't just mean next week, next month, next year. I mean, the long game, 25, 50, 100, 500 years beyond you. Like what if the earth and the world could be far, far greater because you were here? Wouldn't that be cool? You know, um, what would you, what, what could you create that would create a greater future, like into far, far into the future? And so if you see that you, if you, if you, if you are dedicated to that, dedicated to the creation of the future, that's one of the elementals of consciousness. Like one of the energies that when we be that it adds a lot of magic and miraculousness to what we're creating. And if you have that dedication to creating a greater future, you are playing a very, very, very long game and you can relax into the knowing of like, you don't have to do everything yesterday or today or next week. You can take this broader, wider bird's eye view of everything that allows you to like, you know, take a moment right now and, and enjoy your life, you know, adding, adding things that you enjoy to your life. Another tool I would like to um, recommend, and, and it's been one of my absolute go-to tools, is the Access Consciousness Bars. Um, the Bars is a hands-on energetic modality that um, it's just touching points lightly on the head. And as we do so, um, all kinds of limitations and you know, like stressors and all, like so many things that stress us out literally leave our universe. Like they dissipate. Um, I think a great way of describing it is that it relaxes your brain. The bars relaxes your brain. And I know the first time I had the bars run, having your bars run, that's what we call it. Um, I, 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 I literally said to the lady who did it, you just poured bliss into my universe. And I, I really felt like there was a completely different future available to me after that. Um, and so, and what, what happens with the bars is it allows you to relax kind of really like back to you to have this sense of coming, coming home to you. 
who you truly are as a being, as a creature of consciousness, as somebody who is dedicated to creating a greater future for the world. Um, and all the extraneous stuff, all the worries and the stressors and the what ifs and the doubt and the, you know, reactive realities, all that stuff, it, it actually just leaves your world. Um, it can also really change uh, PTSD and, and traumatic realities. It can rewire your nervous system, relax your body, give you more mental clarity. There's so many things that the BARS does. And um, there are people all over the world that do access consciousness bars. And if you, um, you know, would like to find somebody, if you don't know someone already, um, you can look on the accessconsciousness.com website and um, find a practitioner in your area. Um, the bars is in almost every country in the world. Um, it's very, very um, available in the world, depending on where you are. Um, and becoming more so all the time. And it's just such an incredible tool um, that just changes things. You know, I, I got my bars run yesterday and I literally laid on the table and snored and drooled and was in such a deep, deep, deep space. Um, and by the end of it, it was like, I was a totally different creature. I love that about that. Um, and that kind of leads to the next thing because there's a lot of... Um, Relaxation is one of those things that, and I talked about this in the video that I made, but it's it's one of those things that, you know, we think of like, I'm going to lay on the couch, I'm going to watch TV, I'm going to veg out, I'm going to, you know, go on vacation or whatever. And that's, it's only relaxing if it's relaxing, you know. For me, I creation is far more relaxing. Like if I'm laying on the couch watching a video or whatever, that might contribute to me. And, and I definitely do that sometimes. A lot of times they end up falling asleep, which is hilarious. Um, but sometimes I'll run bars and watch videos um, with somebody else. And sometimes I actually like to be creating while I'm doing it. And so, you know, you got to find what's what's relaxing to you. And there's a whole conversation that we could have around neurodiversity and being engaged with a lot of different things that is actually relaxing to people who are neuro neurologically diverse and um, who, who function from a very different space neurologically. Um, and we'll talk more about that in a future podcast. Um, but, but, uh, you got to find what is relaxing to you. And, and sometimes it really takes some, some cultivating just as extremely cracked, dry, desertified, unmineralized soil needs a lot of tending tilling, amending, you know, nurturing to become fluffy, moist, nourished, mineralized, you know, abundant soil to allow for the whole biome to, to flourish. And so, um, you know, there's, there's, um, if you have, um, if you, I mean, we all have some sort of a, I would say traumatic history, you know, some people have very specific traumatic events that have occurred in their lives that really inhibit and impede their ability to relax. Um, and, you know, I've done some previous episodes around this and I'll just say now, like what happens when we have traumatic events in our lives is we have a neurological like activation that goes on in our nervous system that like our, our nervous system kind of like goes on high alert. And from that space, we can't, it gets kind of stuck there. If you don't have a resolution from a traumatic event that is, um, allows you to come to a state of relaxation, um, you, you get stuck in the activated neurological universe. That is a beautiful thing that we have the capability of in our bodies, but it's only meant to be a very fleeting temporary response to a traumatic event. And then we relax afterwards. But if we get stuck there, if we get traumatized, the, the response, the neurological response gets cut off. We're not able to relax. And we literally get kind of like hyper aroused. we become hyper alert and relaxation can be much more difficult to achieve. And, and I want to just I, I, I can't give you a whole bunch of solutions in a podcast for that. Um, 
because that is much more kind of personal work. Um, I can give you, I will give you some more suggestions. So in addition to the bars, because I would say the bars is a really big, big piece of that can actually unwind the neuro neurology. Um, but what I can say is that it's, it's really valuable to be aware of this because a lot of times we don't even know that we're not relaxed. And then because we don't know what we don't know, we don't know what we don't have. We don't know what we're missing, you know? So we don't realize that we're not actually relaxed. We think it's just sort of like, this is how I live my life. And we become more relaxed. And then we, went, we realize, oh my gosh, wow, I was really wound up, you know? And that's happened to me recently. And the thing about relaxation with creation is that when you're creating from a relaxed space, it has a totally different flavor to it. And it kind of doesn't even seem like anything. The push, the pressure, the, you know, force, the control, it's, it's gone. You know, there's no reactive reality there anymore. And then creation is just a choice and it's just something we do for the sake of creation. And then all kinds of things show up. It's kind of magical. <laughs> um, but we have to be aware that there's a greater possibility with relaxation in order to start to choose it and move toward it. And so if you feel that you could use more relaxation in your world, um, start to ask for that, start to choose it, start to, you know, wonder what you could add to your life that is going to allow you to have more of that. Um, and that could be the access consciousness bars. It could be um, moving your body. Um, I have found that moving my body in a very resourced and resourcing way has been incredibly valuable for me um, to be able to um, just start to have a different neurological reality. And the Bowspring um, that I've, I've, we did a um, podcast on that a couple episodes ago. If you want to know more about that, you can listen to that one. But Bowspring has been an amazing modality for movement for me because it really does actually change the wiring of your nervous system. Um, it, it, it gives your nervous system the input of what it is to be, you know, stronger, more agile, more flexible, more, you know, um, like ability, more able to be in an expansive state. And we can relax into that and have, have a different reality. Um, and then there are things like body work, um, the access consciousness, body processes, um, also hands-on energetic modality that's very, very powerful um, for the body and changing the neurology, changing the molecular and cellular structure of the body. Um, so a lot of this really does go back to the body and how you can tend to your body and care for your body in such a way that allows for greater relaxation. And there's a lot of other things, you know, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of tools, a lot of processes, um, and some things that I do, some things that other people do, you know, but, but it's about going out there and really starting to look for starting to seek what is available and possible with greater relaxation. Um, knowing that it's something that's available to you and recognizing that your whole creative universe expands when you have more of that space and, um, what you create as a business, your money flows, your relationships, all of the things that your body, all of it becomes so much greater from the space of relaxation if you choose it and you go for it. Um, and so I hope this was helpful in, for you in, in some way. And um, really, you know, what is possible in the world if we were to all relax so much more and really nurture our bodies and our neurology to have a greater space of that. Um, and I also do in-person private intensives with people as well as online private kind of facilitation immersions with people. Um, if you'd like to delve more into what this would be for you, you can come and work with me for a half day, a full day, you know, two days or, you know, one-off sessions as well as um, 
as the online stuff, which doesn't, of course, involve the hands-on work. Um, but I love working one-on-one -on -one with people in this way and helping them to get a sense of what's what's greater, what's possible for them to choose in terms of greater relaxation, greater ease, greater creation, greater receiving, more joy, more ease, more glory in their lives. Um, so that's all on my website. You can check that out at heathernichols.com. And I wish you and your body great ease, great relaxation, wonderful space, and um, more delightful creation than you can imagine from that space. And um, just know that there's always more. Wherever you are now, there's always more um, to be chosen and to be had. And um, it's an amazing adventure moving in that direction. So thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me for the Entrepreneurial Biome Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and subscribe. For more resources, check out my website at heathernichols.com and my social media channels as well. Have a beautiful day and remember that your business thrives when you do.